Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a quick video and that is how to speed up any Android device. Now I have done an entire segments devoted to this, but um, I realize sometimes that things that I have and I know about, I don't always show in videos. So this is a quick way to uh, make your Android device faster. So what that is, is uh, going to settings and you would scroll all the way down to developer options. Now this is something I never usually recommend unless someone guides you through this as I am, just simply because developer options are really crazy and you can change your phone dramatically. And this even tells you uh, that as well, do not do things unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so uh, somewhere in your developer options, the Note 2 I have has a lot of them, but somewhere in your developer options, you're going to have a section like this. And window animation scale, um, and they are always defaulted to one times, or one X. Uh, so here's the thing. These animations are uh, what cause your phone to have a slight delay when you're doing your home button, when you're going back, and uh, certain, certain things. So um, let's say this. Uh, so this is 1x, so say if I go back, if I go home, you see how it displays there. Now, what if I go to 0 0.5? 0 0.5 is generally what I always have it at, so I can go to 0 0.5. And now, you can see it just moves a little bit quicker. Everything just moves a little bit quicker. And to show you the difference, if I did it times five on everything, <laughs> you can even see that animation has already begun to take a lot longer than it did. So now, Everything is moving super slow. So, this is just a quick tip on how to improve the speed of your device. Now you can't have animations off entirely. And this will even make it slightly quicker. But, you know, it does take a little way, a little bit away from the way your device moves. Um, so, and if you don't mind that, then that's fine. Um, I'll usually have it at 0 0.5 but it's a really nice way, and I realize that most people don't care about the animations that are on their devices. Um, so this is a really uh, simple and easy way to speed up your phone. Um, now, another part that I kind of go over briefly has been like a task killer and things like that. Task killers are never good to end all of your apps at the same time. So like say for the Samsung one, you have a built-in task killer, um, and it's right here, and you can end apps as uh, they're in the background. So here's the thing. Um, this, uh, a lot of geeks will tell you that, um, you know, this isn't good to just end all of your apps around that because of the kernel on Linux, and I understand all this very easily. So here's the thing. I also don't recommend having um, a task killer that kills apps automatically all at once, um, typically. On your developer options though, where we were, right over here, it does give you that option. So for one right here, you can actually, uh, anytime you leave an app, it'll close immediately. Um, you can also set the limit. So standard limit is I believe five apps are open um, or it's just kind of like as the kernel sees fit uh, for it. Uh, or uh, yes, I just don't wanna get to two technical terms. Um, you can have four processes. Um, I would say if you have a lot of lag on your phone, four processes is fine and it won't mess with the operating system as much. Um, so I would say if you want to limit it, you can limit it to four, but do not limit it to three, two, one, or no process because it'll actually make your phone uh, not run any faster whatsoever. So be careful with that. Um, the one thing I can say, if you want to speed up your phone at that exact moment in time, um, if you have this option, or you can get a third-party app that sometimes does it too, you can clear RAM. 
So this is the only thing that uh, will make your phone run a little bit faster, but it takes a second even after you clear RAM because clearing RAM clears everything. So watch when I hit home. It gives me like a blank page because it's like it's restarting everything again. Now, uh, sometimes you have so many processes running and um, because of how they're using it, they're not doing it properly. So clearing RAM is okay. Clearing RAM is okay. It'll take a second, but then once it uh, goes, it'll go faster than... So clearing RAM is okay, um, and I don't care what anyone says, it, it just, it, it really is, um, it's okay in the way that it does it, but yes. Uh, so animations are the main part to get you started, and that's just a little bit behind uh, Task Killer and all that. If you ever get a Task Killer and it is constantly on at the top over here, that means you do not know how to use a Task Killer and you should delete it right away, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.